Hi everyone, this is Natalie and I'm going to show you what I created for our friend Matea. And this is, I'm um, going to go out to her in our next swap. So it's a apron and I don't know if I can get it all in one shot. Um, she, I asked her um, how long or what her measurements were so I could make this. And so what we have here is I just um, took some muslin show the back. I took some muslin, um, sewed the inside, and then um, basically uh, started layering laces on top of it, and then sewed straight edges across, and then also um, put some, um, an arrangement of doilies and laces and uh, handmade flour and some appliques. So um, most of these are from either her or um, from our stash. So and we're making some other ones and um, this lace is sewn right here at the bottom and then it's so it's just a really pretty flowy lace to go at the bottom and then the next piece um, I'm not sure where it came from but you can kinda see it there and then on top of that one is sewn is this one and then I have this trim that I threaded a pink a small pink um, uh, lace through and then behind this, there's a big old flat, wide piece of lace that goes across the top of this one. And so it just kind of shows through. Otherwise, you would just see muslin if I hadn't put that there. And then this is some trim that she sent us, and I just sewed that on. And then on top, again, there's another piece of lace. This is some other laces from our stash. And then this lace um, we also did get from Matea. And then later on I did find some um, at our local um, thrift store that we got. That I got some. I found some more of it. So I was lucked out. So I decided to use some on, on her apron. And it kind of has a, a shine to some of the parts of the pieces of the lace. So And then on the top, this is a lace that she... Um, gifted to us and then I decided to use that at the top um, and then I sewed these um, strings or these ties I should say and it was really easy um, to do this so if you've ever um, I don't suggest you do this by hand um, what I do suggest you do by hand would be the arrangement part of the layering of the different doilies because then you know it's secure so the first uh, doily that I laid down was this white one, and then the next one would be this kind of like um, mocha or off-white cream color one, and then on top of that I did this one, and I sewed down every single end to it so it doesn't move, so that way if she's sitting down it doesn't curl, because if you've ever um, had like a curl in, in like a doily, it's kind of hard to, unless you iron it, you, it's hard to get out. So, and then next, on top of that, um, we printed out some canvas um, photos, and then I stitched this lace around it, and then stitch it, stitched it to the actual apron. And then the next thing I sewed on there by hand was this applique. Um, no, I take that back. I sewed this one, this doily. And I got this one at a um, thrift store. And then this is an applique that uh, Matea gave to us um, that we've been hoarding that I decided to use just because it went well with the flow of the um, apron. And then on top, I just did, this was from a, it's from a dress that, um, it was like a, like a scrap piece of, um, but it's just a beaded applique. So cut a few pieces out of this, decided um, this and that one right there is from the same piece so and then this is a handmade flower that um, I made and it's got some tulle and some stretchy lace and then I just put a button in the center of that and then this lace around here is also coffee dyed so and I'm just gonna pan it over I love the image the image is so pretty um, and we'll be making more of these I actually have two um, mine and my sister's, um, actually everything is done, all the laces are sewn on the mesh, or on the muslin piece, it just needs to have the applique, um, arrangement and doily arrangement sewed on there, by hand sewn on there. So, and then after I hand sewn it all, 
I decided that I didn't want the back to be like just a ridge. So what I did was I cut a piece of muslin and um, cut around it and sewed it to the back. And I do like, um, of course I'm going to cut this, but I do like the raw edge that it kind of gives. It just kind of looks like it's, you know, just a, it has just a vintage feel. So I didn't fold over the edge and, and um, um, so I just raw edged. I left it the, uh, the edge raw. So kind of like that, and then the top up here, sorry, I can't, the top up here, I just sewn um, the little piece, and again, I left the edge of the tie back raw, and just sewn that on there. So this is the apron, and thank you guys for watching. We will be making more, and um, we hope that uh, you enjoyed watching our video, and when I... I'm done sewing on the other two. Um, we'll definitely share those also. So thanks guys for watching. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Bye.